What's up, YouTube followers? Uh, so I want to talk about a thing today a little bit quick. So I've been doing YouTube videos a long time, like uh, at least the last uh, seven or eight years. I sort of feel that phones are kind of coming to this point where it doesn't seem like we're getting that many new exclusive features. So you can see a lot of these phones that I have bought for making videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, basically all of these phones you can find videos on on my page but I sort of feel that we're coming to a point where phones are starting to become more boring. It, it feels like they're starting to peek out in new exciting cool features. It sort of feels like they're starting to get more integrated into our life. We're starting to take them for granted kind of. Uh, a few years ago it was like wow uh, dual core that was really cool. Uh, quad core that was really cool. A uh, bigger display that was really cool. Uh, faster speeds from 3G to 4G that was really cool. But now we're starting to get to this point where phones are so good, so big batteries, so cheap, so amazing speeds. And um, now um, I talked about this on my website. Uh, it looks like Samsung now is working on their new, I think it's called 9820 chipset, which is going to be 5G data speeds. 5G is going to be gigabit speeds. So we might see this in the Galaxy S10 in 2019. I wrote about it on my website. I will have a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but it's very fascinating. You know, it is very fascinating. Huocom is also going to do this, uh, which is also pretty amazing. But the main thing I want to talk about in this video is it sort of feels like phones starting to become boring. I'm curious what the next thing will be. Uh, will it be virtual reality? We saw that Google Glass didn't work that well. It wasn't a big success. Uh, I think that was in 2011. Uh, but I think that the future technology is going to be some eye thing. So, um, uh, or yeah, I think it's going to be some glasses things. Uh, that uh, we are going to wear uh, because we don't want to carry around a phone it's a bit annoying people are not looking at each other on the streets it's just weird you know it's very weird uh, and uh, another thing I can say to people that can't afford these super expensive phones is there's a lot of high, there's a lot of good Android phones you can get for like $150 these days like Xiaomi Redmi 5 and you don't have to pay like $1,000 for a new iPhone X or the Galaxy S9 or the Note 8, which is super expensive because they have built up their brand and now they're trying to sell them for super much. So you don't have to do that, you know. So I think in the future also we're going to see at the moment those uh, great devices that you can get new devices from China, $150 phones, in the future I do believe that it's going to be even cheaper. I think that they eventually it's going to be so cheap to create new phones that they're just going to give it to you, okay? Because after you have a phone, you can subscribe to their services uh, because the future is going to be more rent. We're probably going to rent our phones as we're doing with, uh, you know, taxi sharing services. Uh, we can rent it with other people. And... Um, and Spotify, for example, Netflix, yeah, all these subscription models. Subscription models is the future. Ownership is going to be more pointless in the future. So we're probably going to rent the phone. And when we need to upgrade some parts of it, it's going to do that automatically. But I think in the future, mainly, it's going to be more about software. Software, software, software. Software is going to be the uh, where how companies are going to different, uh, different themselves more in the future than in terms of hardware, okay? So yeah, quickly a video talking about this. Uh, I hope you check out um, uh, that 5G thing that I wrote about. Uh, it is exciting. And I also mentioned in that uh, blog post, I mentioned HTC, they have this new Vive Pro, which I also wrote about, uh, which has like, I think it was like 78% more pixels or something like that. So if you want to get into virtual reality more these days, uh, the original HTC Vive is like only like $500 these days. I bought it late 2016. It, the HTC Vive virtual reality headset cost like $1,000 then. So it's a good time now to start to invest in virtual reality, try out some games with that and things like that because it is the future, my friends. So yeah, have a great day.